Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another weekly construction video for the global version of Azure Lane. The uh, Divergent Chessboard event is coming to a close. We're on the final couple of days. We don't need anything more from the event, but for those of you who are still struggling, still farming, still doing their pulls, best of luck. I hope you get the units that you are, uh, or the ships that you are hunting. For us, New Year's is approaching. The next event that's slated is heavily rumored to be Crimson Echoes, which should be very interesting, but right now we're kind of in a lull. So for the weekly constructions, we've just been doing exclusively light constructions in the hopes of getting a St. Louis or a Concord or an Aurora. So we have 10 of these constructions queued up from the week. Uh, where are they? Right over here. So we have 10 of these constructions queued up and then we'll do two more to finish off the quests for today. Even though I don't need any more points for the event, I'm still going to collect them just to get the... I'll just buy out the oil from the shop, basically. It's an excuse to spend cubes, more or less, because I kind of want to spend cubes to try to get St. Louis. Uh, but, yeah, with any luck, maybe we'll get an SSR along the way, but that's not really what we're hunting. Again, we kind of want the new ships, Concord, uh, St. Louis, and Aurora, if possible. So let's finish all here. See what we get. I'm going to start off with a Craven. Get uh, an Atlanta. I can still limit break her, so that's good. Amazon as well. Uh, Beagle. Bailey. Uh, Carlsruhe. Thatcher. Amazon. Hermes. And Colm. That was a lot of commons. Not a very pretty temple, but that's okay. These are basically free pulls throughout the course of the week, more or less. So we'll do two more to round it out, and we'll finish all. Neither of those are St. Louis based on the construction times, unfortunately. Foxhound, who has a pretty cool retrofit I may end up going for. And a Fletcher. So lots of destroyers in this batch, and lots of Fletchers, uh, or rather lots of Fletchers, not destroyers. That's to be expected, no big surprise there. The pool is pretty huge for these characters, and they're not rated up or boosted in any way. So we just kind of have to bide our time and hope for the best, that eventually, through attrition, we will eventually get them. So I have ten of them lined up here, uh, all light construction. Again, the goal is going to be either Aurora or St. Louis, mostly. And we'll just see if we can get her, or one of them. They would be great. I'm not in a rush to get them. They're in the general pool. They're not rated up, so I'm not really expecting a whole heck of a lot, but you never know. Uh, I figured I'd record them just in case I get one of them. So let's finish all right here. First up is going to be, probably going to be a bunch of destroyers, I imagine. Oh, it's going to be an Ajax. It's not bad. Craven. Uh, Beagle. Okay, we wrapped up those three. That's actually perfect because uh, I need three more for the rest of this week's uh, quest completion. So let's rack up three more here of the light construction. And then, again, we'll finish all. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, so next up is going to be a Bogue. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, it doesn't even phase me anymore. I'm just kind of, uh, well, just kind of immune to it, I guess, at this point. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that I had the volume so low when I when I didn't hear San Diego's um, familiar chanting. <laughs> I realized I didn't have the sound up, so turn that up for now. Uh, but yeah, another San Diego, no real surprise there. The surprise would be if we got another San Diego, uh, but not this time. Alec, Amazon, McCall, a Ranger, Colm. Just a couple left here. It's been a long time, I think, since we've gotten a video without a San Diego. It's oh, is she not new? It's it doesn't say she's new, but she doesn't look familiar to me. Yugure, 
I'm, I must have gotten her as a drop at some point. Okay, Langley. And Beagle. Alright. So that is going to wrap up the weekly pulls. Not so eventful. San Diego as usual. Uh, when the Crimson Echoes event rolls around, we'll definitely be doing some pulls on that one. Um, just showcase a little bit of the event as well. So hopefully you guys did better than I did on your weekly light constructions. I know some people are going in pretty hard for Aurora, given that she does feature some interesting advantages in PvP. Um, St. Louis is incredibly popular as always, so I know people are going to be going in for her as well. As well as, uh, you know, Prince of Wales, Otago are now in the summon pools, so people are kind of splurging there. I would uh, stress to people that uh, these units are not rated up, and there is always a chance that you will get them when pulling for another event. So, unless you're in a mad rush to get any of these units, I would definitely hold off. Save your cubes for an event that rolls around, because you never know. Your Chances are, over time, you're just going to get one of them. They are in the general pool. They're just not rated up. And if you really want to get them, or stockpile your orbs, or splurge for them, uh, their events will roll back around, uh, in which case, they will be rated up on a banner. So hopefully you guys did better, uh, did well over the course of the week. Let me know in the comments below what pulls you got, what what ships you ended up constructing, anything new or interesting. Hopefully you enjoyed watching these pulls. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, let's protect those waters.